okay uh, hello guys welcome to runs of tutorials so uh, let me just hold in this window just right here right here uh, yep yeah welcome to runs of tutorials today I'm just going to be talking about something um, I just got uh, recently an intrusion uh, not that direct intrusion but uh, uh, these guys you know pull, uh, put a, po a port on uh, they were listening on one of my ports that are uh, that support a uh, five to five triple o two. And they were listening. And I had put a, uh, a malicious software to listen on my port on that port. So I got concerned about make it doing a tutorial about uh, how to close ports. Okay, without wasting any time, we should just go straight into into it, please, guys. <laughs> if anybody could t could take these guys down for me, <laughs> that would be a favor. All right. So. Uh, I just got go got got so fascinated about this uh the Windows Windows uh, it's a Windows software it comes with a Windows CD and it's called uh, IPsec IPsec uh, if I'm to go to my um now what you have to do you have to have your Windows installation CD now for me uh, since I'm too lazy I have a couple of them right here <laughs> I'm too lazy to buy one so uh, sorry about that. If I were to kind of go inside here and uh, go to my support, your CD, you go to the support, and then tools, you find them inside here. If you go try to extract this, you extract this. Let me just put it up for you. Uh, you just extract all these tools, uh, and uh, just go inside your program files, as in um, pro uh, programs and uh, program files. Then you 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 create a new a new folder. You name it uh, support uh, support tools it will be great so I'm hoping everybody has done that that's not a big lesson <laughs> so uh, we start up our, our CMD yep no more gooey stuff <laughs> so when we start up our CMD this is what we're going to do to it we're just going to locate where we where we where we are sorry about that where we are we lo we, we, we where we created us our, uh, our folder because we're going to use some of those utilities inside the folder so we just locate it that is C CD program files program files uh, CD program files slash and the name that you named it must murders a lot so for this case and then the support tools support tools and then when I enter if we have to take a look at this I see you can see that now first of all you make a diagnosis of your of, of your environment to see how you're standing we just use this command. You just type nidag, nidag slash test, no, colon, then uh, ipsec, ipsec, then enter. Uh, wait for a minute, and then you see. Uh, just because I have already s a policy running, just I told you I had a <laughs> I had a, a, a problem with this port. That is the port of uh, five five triple o two. It's filled. I I said it to be filtered because uh, I wanted it to be blocked. Because these guys were listening on on, on it, uh, the guys from the, the Asian Pacific Network Information Center, they thought I was doing something malicious. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, the best way to know what what ports are running on your system, who is the victim, uh, uh, who who is infecting you, is there anybody listening to you, is there anybody trying to tap you? You use the net start the net start tool, uh, the net start command, net start minus a. When you click net start minus a, it shows you all the all the all the ports that are running and all the ports that are listening you see I have a couple of ports that are listening here and if I'm to view them I see I see all of these ports or I just I just give this port to something else so that it cannot be used by anybody else uh, I have this all these ports are really running and uh, they're listening oh my goodness I wonder what kind of guy am I because I even have my net bios port on my net on my net bios uh, is, is listening so anybody can tap on can tap into me, but I have uh, a quite a number of other redundant ports that are not running. But then this proves more like nothing completely for us to come into a like a, a direct conclusion that there's somebody listening to us. How about we use a net start? Net start minus b. Wow, this is excellent. It will blow off your mind because you see what it does. It shows you all the ports with their executable files that are running. Because in case somebody's placed a trojan onto your system or any listening, any listening uh, m m malware onto your system, you will get to know the the exe files that are running on each port. Now, for my case, 
I have an EXT file running U terrain because definitely I'm a terrainer. I need to to <laughs> to stream those terrains for free because I, I told you I'm a lazy guy and I have my uh, I explore also it's running. So not to fear much, but if you find any port that is kind of non-familiar, the only ports that I will tell you that you'd like you to find is a port um, is a is a an application and a that exe file called uh, ALG. Actually, the, the full name of that that file of that are uh, stands for application layer gateway. It's a uh, it's detected, but that's not a virus. That's not a a trojan it's not anything bad because uh what this application does it just allows her uh, uh your 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 clients such as the mi clients the uh, rtsp b terrain sip and ftp to function very well so you don't have to get to, to worry about that so to get into the thing let's just follow with me so i'm just assuming there's a port that you want to block badly that i do so i'll start it i'll just start ip sake ip sake just mi mine this capture sensitiveness IP sake cmd dot exe dot exe then space dash dot minus dot u then reg uh huh minus p uh this is a small uh, a lower p lower case p and um, open then block block because you want to block right uh, sorry about this then in case it's a TCP port I'll pi I place TCP in case it's a UDP you place UDP so in this case it's, it's a TCP port and then I'll go to my five uh, five uh, uh, oh five triple oh two and then I'll say filter right then I close this I hit I just go ahead minus R this is a, a lower case minus R I space it block again I have to block it I'm blocking that port sorry about this I block it and then uh, I, I block um, now this time I'm blocking all inbound inbound connection all inbound uh, connections that are, uh, uh, all, all ports that are trying to, to take in inbound uh, this port it should not allow inbound messages or inbound services so I just block it via its TCP by its TCP and then the port that I'm blocking is 5 triple O uh, triple O2 and um, I am um, sorry I just write here TCP TCP sorry this has to be uh, uh, uppercase then minus N sorry minus N block block then finally minus X when this is all said and done, oh oh no 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 please 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 I just missed something very very uh very uh, useful just right here in the middle, and uh, uh, as I was supposed to say TCP block my TCP uh, uh port uh, five triple o two, and then and then that rule there has to come a rule because uh, this is a rule, it has to be a rule, uh, sorry this has to be lowercase rule, and then minus f right that was the most important thing that I have forgotten minus a f you know minus a f space as equal to uh, zero this is equal to zero uh, cone and my port that I'm blocking and definitely this is on TCP then minus n block minus n then block then finally minus x and then I close. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't have to close it. Then that's it. Then with this, you just press enter, and you see. Uh, you see what's down here. The command. The command completed successfully. So how about we do a net dag com uh, in, in, in a dag uh, research on it to see what has exactly happened, right? So when you do that, you see something like that goes like a uh, uh, IP security test passed. Service status is started. Da 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 da, da aut automatic and um, it shows you the policy down here. But in case it's not successful, you won't see anything like this. It will show you like it's not uh, something like a past IP uh, IP se IP sec policy service is active, but no policies assigned. Something like that. It will be shown to you. And uh, now you're ready to go. Your everything is just so fine. 
I hope you guys this has been really a very interesting tutorial for you I'm just uh, reminding you uh, just to go to my to my uh, youtuber uh, youtuber for for and then uh, you can check out for more videos read please in the comment if possible subscribe thank you